Repairing OTR tyres with 30 00 section width or greater. Using the M4832 external curing pack with harness guide and six ratchet straps. Components you require. Control panel, M100, X-pad style. Inside flat airbag, M5432W. M4832 external curing pack with harness guide and six ratchet straps. Inside heat pad, MX2626H. Outside heat pad, MX3132H. Cylinder airbag, M272032W. Utilising over 40 years experience, the Monoflex system has been developed to be as hard wearing and efficient as possible, yet at the same time user friendly and simple to use. Use a wax crayon to mark the beads centrally above the repair to provide a quick visual indicator when setting up the system. Ensure that the tyre lugs have been blocked out with a suitable fill to prevent distortion and damage to the heat pad. It's recommended that the heat pads are preheated to approximately 50 degrees centigrade before being positioned on the tyre to increase flexibility and aid conformity to the contours of the tyre. Take the preheated inside heat pad and thoroughly dust both sides with tyre talc to reduce friction when using and place centrally over the patched area inside the tyre. The heat pad should be orientated with the finger holes along the top edge, lining up with the bead and the labels facing towards the injury. Connect the green hose to the inside flat airbag. Then place centrally over the heat pad with the valve side facing away from the injury and the top edge of the bag approximately four inches above the bead to ensure ease of inflation. Take the cylinder airbag Tuck in the ends of the bag and fold lengthways along the valve line. Place the cylinder airbag centrally behind the inside flat airbag. The blue elasticated window should be positioned facing the side wall on the repair side. Connect the blue air line to the cylinder airbag hose. Switch the incoming air tap to on and partially inflate the cylinder bag by pulling down the slide valve to form its shape within the tyre. When the shape of the cylinder is starting to appear, Stop the air supply and check the positioning of the bag. The airbags and heat pads should all be evenly aligned above the repair with the top edge of the blue window in line with the bead and facing the sidewall. The external curing pack should be laid out with integral straps and inflation hose facing the floor. Place the outside heat pad centrally onto the rear of the airbag orientated with the finger holes, handles and control leads at the same end as the airbag valve. Lower or roll the tyre into position with the repair area positioned centrally over the heat pad. Lift the external curing pack up into place and pass the harness guide and buckles through the centre of the tyre. The harness guide should be positioned halfway between the beads. The curing pack and heat pad positioned centrally on the repair plug. With the buckles hanging down on the sidewall furthest from the repair, bring the loose end of the strap up and thread straps through each ratchet and commence fastening, starting from the central strap and working out evenly. The harness strap should be fastened so the buckles are staggered along the sidewall and the strap should not be over tight. Roll or lift the tyre so that the external curing pack is positioned clear of the floor. Connect the heat pad and air supply lines to the control panel. Blue for the cylinder airbag, green for the inside flat airbag, and black for the external curing pack. Prior to final inflation, perform a quick check that none of the electrical or air hose connections are trapped behind the components. With the incoming air tap open, use the black regulator knobs to adjust the pressure on the left gauge to 32 psi, and the right to 28 psi. When in the correct position, lock the knobs off by pushing down to click. Commence inflation of the cylinder airbag by pulling the panel slide valve down that's connected to the blue airline. When the pressure gauge on the blue airline shows approximately 20 psi, commence inflation of the inside flat airbag by pulling the slide valve down on the green airline. Let both continue inflating until almost full pressure, at around 25 psi, at which point, open up the slide valve on the external curing pack airline and all three airbags will reach the desired operating pressure. 
Power up the control panel and hold the start button on the timer to begin bringing the heat pads up to the recommended operating temperature of 140 degrees centigrade. When the temperature on both heat pads reaches approximately 120 degrees centigrade, set the timer to the desired time and allow the cure to commence. When the timer has counted down to zero, the curing cycle is complete and the power to the heat pads will be shut down. Disconnect both the inside and outside heat pads. Exhaust air from all three airbags by first pulling up the slide air valves to the off position and then after a period of two or three minutes, the quick release couplings may be disconnected from the airbags. Release all the buckles and remove all the components from the tyre. Points to remember. Always thoroughly dust both back and front of both heat pads with talc before use. Do not lift the heat pads with the leads. Ensure correct orientation of the heat pads. It's essential to use a suitable lug void filler when using OTR tyres. Never leave the equipment unattended. The power supply must be disconnected at the end of the working day. A better finish can be achieved by allowing the repair to cool below 100 degrees centigrade before releasing the airbag pressure.